Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing one of Seven Brothers new beers. This is their Chocolate Honeycomb Stout uh, at 5.5%. All that is on the front. This was released about a week or two ago. Um, it's November the 9th. Yes, November 9th I think. Um, I think this was released a week or two ago. Um, I've not had it, obviously. This came today in a parcel um, with the new 7 series and the marmalade beer. Um, they're all in my fridge now. Um, yeah, I've actually been looking forward to this one. I would have got a second one and I would have compared it to um, Vocations Honeycomb Chocolate Stout, the Crunchy, one that looks like a Crunchy, uh, but I've not had that either and I can't find it, it's really hard to get hold of at the moment, so I just thought I'll get one of these now, try that, and if I find a Crunchy beer, I'll get another one of these at a different date and give them a comparison. Um, Guff on the back says, Welcome to the Dark Side. We've taken our most popular beer, uh, bumped up the AVB and chucked a bunch of dark malts into the mix. Truly a Crunchy in a can. Says that there. Um, if you don't know what the beer is, they made a honeycomb pale ale, which I have had and reviewed on the channel somewhere. Um, it'll be in the Seven Brothers playlist. I think it is a fantastic beer. Um, I think it's 4.5. Not sure. Can't remember off the top of my head. But I think it's a lovely, lovely beer. But um, honeycomb chocolate stout, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fabulous. Uh, the can art is lovely. Bits of honeycomb. Um, if you can see it hexagons and the bees and the honey and chocolate and it just looks cool um so yeah with all that said let's crack it up shall we and see what we've got <clears throat> well done very bad pull anyway so we've got ourselves very carbonated, say very, there's a lot of it clung to the glass. Um, head is a nice tanned mocha style head. Bubbles are quite loose compared to the stouts I've had. Um, it's actually really loose. But to be fair, stuff like that kind of reminds you of the honeycomb bit. Um, it looks good though, so let's get a smell shall we and see what we get. Oh, the longer you smell, the more you get. Nothing stands out um, too much. Um, what I got mostly was dark chocolate, roasted malts, nice roast dark flavours, uh, but with a nice sweetness to it as well. Um, sweetness wasn't too much, wasn't overpowering, but neither was the dark smell, so it, it kind of balanced out. So, so far, so good. Let's get a mouthful for body and carb, shall we? <coughs> Carbonation's light. Body is medium, almost medium full. It does say it's dark, smooth and sweet. Let's give it a top up and then we'll go for a big old taste. Cheers. Quite nice. That is a, that's really nice. It reminds me a lot of the honeycomb uh, pale that they did, which obviously they're meant to. But um, starts off dark roasted malts, um, obviously nice dark chocolate bitterness, and it blends and smooth uh, goes into this smooth honeycomb sweetness, burnt sugar, caramel kind of sweetness finish, and then right at the end with the, the sweetness finish it goes nice and dark again. The dark flavours don't leave the there, but when the sweetness comes, they, they sort of take a back seat. Sweetness gets put on show, nice show off bit, and then the, the bitter, dark, roasted flavours come back as the main flavour. I think it's gorgeous.
I feel like I should have left it out slightly more to room temperature, um, just to warm it up a bit. I think stouts are better warmer than a typical beer. Not room temperature warm or that, I just mean not one or two degrees like pale ales or IPAs. Should have left it out a bit longer, but that's my own, my own fault. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna go away and enjoy it. I love it. It's great. It's a great, great, um, well, yeah, it's, it's just a good beer. I think it's brilliant. Seven Brothers, if you've not seen recently, um, or on the channel at least for me, have become one of, if not my favourite brewer. They're just, they're not releasing anything. Well, they've, they've got the seven series going and I'm getting through them, or I'm on my last one. Um, but they're not releasing too, too much too soon. They're not going over the top with, with strengths and making imperials and quadruples and all that. They're sticking to what they know, and what they know is not weak, but not strong beer. 7% well, on the 7 series is probably, I think, the highest they go. Uh, but they tend to stick around the 4 fives, a 6 at a push, and they're really good at them. I think they're brilliant at them. And I think it's good that they're sticking to what they know and making good beer instead of... Well, yeah, the 7 series is... Pardon me, sort of delving into the unknown, doing something risky, and I've liked them. I actually really like them. Um, so it kind of shows that they can do a bit of everything, but it's. I don't know, it's one of them. I like that they're sticking to what they know and not ruining the kind of thing that they have, which is lower percentage, and they're not trying to compete with like Vocation and Brewdog and. Northern Monk and Wonder Beyond, they're, they're just doing their own thing, and it's it's good. Anyway, sorry, I said I was going to go and enjoy this. I am now. So, well, let me just pour the rest in. No floaters that I can see. I forgot about that. Seven Brothers um, Chocolate Honeycomb Stout at 5.5%. Out of 10, I'm going to give it a good, good old 9 I love this beer. I think it's brilliant. Um, I should I should have got a couple. I really wish I did. It's definitely up there with my favourites. Oh, it's also vegan. It says so. The I forgot to mention that. Um, don't know how it's vegan. If it, it must be fake honeycomb, or, or just fake honey, a lot of sugar. I'm not sure because honeycomb's not vegan anyway. Um, yeah, nine out of ten. Well done, seven brothers. I've. I, I think it's fantastic. If you've had this before, please let me know like what you think, if you like it, if you don't. Um, which do you prefer, this one or the pale? I'm leaning to this one, but I think that's because it's cold outside and I want a thicker drink, but I'm leaning to this one. Um, if you've not had it though, I'll leave a link to Seven Brothers website down below where you can get one for four whole English pounds. I think that is very reasonable. I think it's a good price, actually. Um, yeah, so if you want one, links down below. If you like the video, thumbs up, the thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.